Hello people, hello people, what is going on? Chandra is coming out to you here with a very exciting news video. We finally received some news regarding the Cella revamp that's about to hit toughest touch. And I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. And I've been I've been so hyped, even though I don't play this class. I, I love the seller just as uh, just as a character. I think they're super cool. They're like little kids, but they're like mummies. They're like wizards, but they're like time mages. They're a super cool class, and they use hammers. Hammers are one of my favorite like we weapon archetypes. So they're super cool. But if you guys are not familiar with uh, the, the kind of class revamps we've been having on Duffus Touch, I like to think of them as kind of touchifying the classes, which is kind of on Kama's way on creating a, a class specifically to the Duffus Touch environment that is very unique to that, that is not a copy of the PC Dofus or Wagfu or even Waven for that matter, right? So I like to, and they've been doing this very slowly. And and this is part of their plan of them kind of like making Dofus Touch stand on its own and its own, as a, its own game, its own build, its own variant, right? And Seller is kind of next up on the, on the list. Uh, last year they did do the Sacrier, the Craw, and the Any. And I've been pretty vocal on how else, how awesome their take was on the on the Dofus Touch variants of these classes. So I'm super excited to go through this. I haven't seen this yet, so I'll read this uh, along and discover this as as you guys are watching this video as well. But let's dive right in, folks. Let's dive right in. Remember to hit the like, subscribe if you guys like this kind of content because you know it uh it's good when people like and comment. The beta is coming soon, where you'll have a chance to discover and try the seller class revamp. We've tell you more about it in this devlog. Revamp goes. The seller is one of those emblematic classes in the Crossmo universe. The debuff class playstyle has always made a character strong allies in PvP, but very situational allies in PvM. Uh, yeah, so a big issue sellers do have in PvM is that they become the the, the higher the closer you get to endgame the more irrelevant they become. Uh, they're not necessarily a, dam a damage class. So so they have pretty mid damage output. Obviously they're they're more like wizards, right? So they're not gonna be hit as hard as a yaw. But also the whole thing is about AP manipulation. One thing that happens the closer thing you get one thing that happens the closer you get to endgame is that enemies just become super resistant to AP and they have way more AP than you have. So removing, you know, one or two AP from like an, an opponent that has 15 AP, it's not going to do much. So they're, so they became irrelevant in that regard. Like they're, the thing that they're supposed to be good at, it just becomes irrelevant. So I really hope they address that issue here. And of course the PVP, you know, it's, it's, you have a greater impact removing AP from a 12 AP opponent. That doesn't really have a high AP resistance than a uh, monster that has right like like a Frigos boss right that has super high AP resistance and they got like 20 AP so even if you remove like four or five AP it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um, the lack of versatility and diversity in the range of actions is what prompted us to make changes to the class that has great potential. We've also taken the opportunity to complete changes that were initiated several years ago to give each class three equitable elemental path options. Again, if you guys are not familiar with how Dofus Touch kind of been streamlining the classes, in Dofus Touch, uh, the classes that have been touchified, you only can build them out of three element, of uh, three out of the four elements. It's kind of similar to how Wackful. And this helps relieve some of the pressure when it comes to kind of spreading the, the spells too thin across all four elements. Some people love it, some people hate it. I think it's good because that makes the the, uh, the elemental pass a little bit stronger when they could throw a little bit more Taurus, a little bit more focus, I, I would say. So obviously they're doing the same thing here with Cellar. Uh, at, at its current state, Cellar is still one of those classes where you could have spells of all four elements. But yeah, again, it, you kind of spread yourself thin. So some 
some paths are kind of like lack, lackluster because of it. In our opinion, the issues with Solar's were the class has a strong PvP focus, but little no use to PvM. Okay, yeah, I just talked about that right now. Uh, AP reduction on opponents is too easy. It's too easy on PvP. It's irrelevant for PvM. I just talked about that. AP increase is too easy on oneself or one allies. I mean, I mean that's kind of their thing, so I don't see that being an issue. Lack of diversi uh, diversity during turns. And I would agree. I mean, sellers are, are, are pretty much spell slingers. Like, they should be doing some crazy stuff. Too many, uh, too many elements to pass and unbalanced spell distribution. Yeah, so I'm glad. I'm glad they're on the same page. I'm glad they uh, they have identified all the problems I, that, you know, I, I pointed out. So, that's good news. Who are sellers? Uh, before getting to nitty gritty, here's a quick summary of how we think of sellers. So, the way I think of sellers are pretty much... Uh, they're like a mix of like Doctor Strange and like Avatar, the last Amber, Airbender, right? They're, they're wizards, time mages, they're masters of the elements, they're, um, they're just crazy, crazy wizards. As mages, uh, major elemental archetypes, battle mages, or Arcanus, Ar Arcanus, 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 on the edge of magic and mathematics. Yep, I agree. Uh, master of times. Uh, move through time, move through space. Slow speed of time. Crane tie loops. Yep, I would agree. That's, uh, that's a seller. All right. Historically, Dofus. Debuffers. Support. Teleportation. Hammer combat. Yep. Right right on the nose. While we didn't use all these inspirations in the revamp, we did try to strike a balance between the different aspects we wanted to highlight while bringing each a unique impact on gameplay depending on the chosen path. Seller Mechanics For sellers, unlike for other classes, we wanted to create a list of emblematic mechanics that each elemental path will use in its own way, rather than restricting each mechanic to a specific path. Okay, that's awesome, that's interesting. Yeah, so they, they, they want to keep sellers just, just like super uh, eventful when they're playing super i guess this will make them unpredictable as well too so what they're saying here is like the little gimmicks they're giving uh, the seller they're not tied down to a specific elemental branch right so teleportation movement if this was another class right the teleportation teleportation movement would be tied down to something like the air element right if you want to teleport and move right make an air build but in the case of the seller this kind of play style is going to be open up to all three elements. Let's keep going. Uh, teleportation symmetry. In relation to the point of impact, I'm on green. Sorry, seller's on here. I'm targeting entity on red. So I'll be teleported to the blue. Okay. Uh, teleportation symmetry in relation to the caster. I'm on red. I'm targeting an opponent on a blue cell. They will be teleported to the green cell. Uh, teleportation, I start a turn, I'm in a green cell, I do my stuff throughout the turn, and I end up here, and then end of turn, I get teleported back here. So a lot of this stuff um, is not new necessarily. We do see uh, tidbits of this kind of me mechanics with spells such as Rewind, Rollback, even the Seller's Punch, right? We're just, you're, mani you're, you're mani manipulating the field, you're kind of jumping over the place. Sounds very seller. And no surprise that they're gonna keep, you know, the the flip flopping, the zigzagging, and and uh, all, all that stuff in here. So that's good to see. Telefrax state. The telefrax state lets you apply additional effects with seller spells. It is applied by certain spells and consumed or verified by others to trigger additional spells, additional effects with spells. This state is applied to two entities for two turns after the change position following the effects of a uh, seller teleportation. I'm on red and I teleport an opponent in a blue. I'm on a red cell and I teleport an opponent in a blue cell symmetrically in relation to me. They should land on a green cell. If this cell is occupied by another opponent, the two entities swap positions and receive the telefrax state. So pretty much, Anytime you, 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 
you swap two um, two entities, those entities get put into the state. So very similar to how it works in PC Dofus. Uh, again, I think this is pretty iconic to the seller. No surprise that they will have it here. And um, it's being implemented here. So super cool. And uh, you're going to get perks for doing so. When the, tele when the Telefrax state is applied to an ally, they receive an AP bonus for the duration of the state. When it is applied to an enemy, they receive a penalty, increasing the damage received from spells for the duration of the state. Here we do have a visual uh, animation here. Seller teleports where the green jelly is. Uh, the seller does get put in tele... The seller itself, they do get put in Telefrax state as evident by the 2 AP they gain here. And at the same time, this jelly uh, has a state where it receives more damage. I do hope that there's going to be more of a visual feedback to this. Just so it's a little bit easier uh, to, uh, to gauge what's going on. Uh, with that being said, I did see that on, on the Duffest Touch Twitter, they do have like this weird distortion effect on their graphics. I, I'm not sure if this is related because of the seller or something, but it'd be cool if like if you whatever you put in tele in Telefrax states, they have like this distortion kind of noise effect to them. It's just a, a nice little visual quirk. I think that'd be cool. I think that'd be fun. That's just me. Alright, so we talked about teleporting, telefrag, and the last one is the prismatic variation. A, a diffraction is the behavior of waves when they encounter an obstacle or opening. Diffraction is evident by the interference phenomena. Do you know the album Dark Side of the Moon by Pink Floyd? Of course, I would play some Pink Floyd, but I don't want to get hit with a copyright strike. <laughs> You should know it's incredible and it illustrates a phenomenon where it's interested in here very well. When some seller spells are cast in a dial, summoned by a seller, they are projected symmetrically in relation to the dial. In this case, the spell is said to cast through the dial. If I'm on the green cell and my dial is on the red cell, casting a spell through the dial means targeting the red cell that the dial is occupying. The spell will then be projected symmetrically and its final point of impact will be the blue cell. So we do have something similar already going on with the dial and like spells like... Uh, not necessarily, like frostbite I think. Right, where it kind of you're kind of bending the spell to go in a different direction. But in this, yeah, so this is, it's pretty much the same principle. The spell has... The, uh, Okay, as well as being projected through a dial, the spell can be modified. This is called prismatic variation. The variation can manifest in different ways. Shape variation. Ooh, whoa, look at that. Is that dark gray? Okay, well, we'll take a look at that. The spell's area of effect changes when it, it casts through a dial. A single target spell can become an area of effect. Whoa, that's cool. Look at that. Okay, so oh, it is dark gray. Dark Ray is looking pretty dark. So Dark Ray, of course, it hits some single target. But when you put out the dial, when you shoot a Dark Ray through it, look at how it changes the, the area of effect of that spell. That is so cool. I hope they have cool, cool sound effects on this. Super interesting. I, I love it so far. So we do have, um, again, we do have kind of sprinkles of that in the, because it feels like the, because Seller has gone through updates, little updates here and there, kind of leading up to this. Uh, we do have spells where, I forget the spell name, but I know it's like an earth, it, it, I don't know exactly. But let's say it's an earth spell, right? When you hit it with the dial, it becomes an air spell. So so similar to this, right? It's, it's changing the shape of your AOE. 
Spell variation. Certain spell effects can change when the spell is cast through the dial. An MP reduction spell, for example, can be well become AP reduction spell when cast through oh MP reduction. Actually, you know what? It would make sense. It does make sense for the cell to have MP reduction spell. Again, they they're a time manipulator, so MP reduction would be like slowing you down. I like that. Okay, so here. All right, what do we see here? Slow down. So slow down. I think you removed one one AP there. One MP. And now remove two two MP. All right, MP is the green one. I forget. But you can see you can see it in action here. Super interesting, yeah. These are, these, especially for PvP, sellers are gonna be so fun to not only like play. It's gonna take a lot of like, skill to get these guys popping off, but once they do, it's gonna be so fun to like watch them pop off, which I think is what the game needs too. Elemental variation. Finally, the third prismatic variation we wanted to explore was attack elements. That means that a fire element spell that casts through a dial. Can't take on a water elemental. Uh, ele water element for it. Okay, I'm too distracted by these gifts, guys. Uh, pretty much what it's saying is, um, on its own, uh, a, a fire spell is just fire. But when you cast it through the dial, it becomes a water spell. And I do love this because, like, again, sailors are kind of like Avatar, ain't eh? right? They're masters of all the elements. So th this really incentivizes hybrid builds, a multi-elemental build, which I. I I know they're not as effective as single focus elemental builds, but there's just some, I think they're a lot more fun. You got a lot more tools to play around with. For example, if you're invested in a build, a, a water fire build, like yeah, you wanna you wanna be pulling this, this stuff off. All right, just makes it more interesting, more dynamic. Uh, a spell's element change. In the case of permanent variation, it's indicated on a spell. When modified, the spell element will always be the same for the given spell. There is no random factor in this mechanic. The spells have an element of variation recognized by an icon. Okay, so instead of instead of having like the purple hybrid icon, they're going with the split dual icon. I do like that. I do like that. On the left is the initial elemental spell, and on the uh, right is when you cast it through the dial. I do like that because when you're making a build, like uh, like you like it's it's another spell. Like even on its own, right? If you're a water build, you still want to use the spell. But you're if you're a fire build, right? You still you still want to use this on your toolbox, even though you know you do have to go through the extra step to cast it on your dial. It's still another spell that's accessible to you. Uh, here we go, Elemental Pass. Like other seller like other classes, sellers want to have three Elemental Pass along with a set of utility spells. The Fire Path, made up of four spells, will let you heal allies or the caster when generating a Telefrag or Prismatic Variation. So it looks like Fire is going to be more support. Healer, that's interesting. I never thought of sellers as healers, but it makes sense. Right? They could turn back time, right? They could rewind the wounds. It makes sense that would be healers. The Water Path, made of four spells, will let you inflict indirect damage on opponents with either pushback or poison effects. Okay, so it looks like the, the, waters, the Water Path might be like the... the more non-direct... I mean, obviously it says it right here, but it's more like the um, a range, I, w I wouldn't say. I don't know. We'll see. The air path, made of four spells, will concentrate on debuffing opponents with either AP or MP reductions. The utility spells for the part will allow for various teleportation effects on allies and enemies as well as other ways of using them. Each elemental path offers ways to apply or consume telefrax state. 
So it looks like fire support, water is going to be your damage, and air is going to be your debuff build. Super cool, super streamlined, pretty straightforward. Ah, uh, should we go through the spell, guys? We should go through. We should go. We'll go through them very quickly here. Again, this is pre-beta here, so this is subject to change before like the final build comes out. So whatever, whatever we we read here, again, depending on their testing and feedback, it might change here and there. So we'll we'll take a look really quick. Dark ray uh, inflicts fire spell and steals range. Pretty much the same thing it does now. Prismatic Variation. When it casts through a dial, the spell inflicts fire damage in an area of effect and heals the caster's allies in the area of effect. Again, leading into the support. Kind of similar to like the... This reminds me of like the PC any where like your your spells, they're they're offensive, but if but if allies are, are getting hit by it, it heals them. So super cool. I dig it. Cellar Sunglass inflicts water. So this went Sunglass went from fire to water. Inflicts water damage and teleports the target symmetrically in relation to the caster. Can't generate Telefrag. If Telefrag is generated by the spell, the target also suffers water poison for two turns. This has Telefrag and Prismatic. The damage inflicted by the spell takes on the fire element when it casts through a through a dial. The poison, if applied, takes... So, alright, so it turns from water to fire. So I think this is the uh, sunglass here. Super, super interesting. Just a lot of interesting kind of nuance to these spells now. Frostbite, now remains air. Inflicts air damage on enemies and teleports the target to its previous position. Prismatic Variation. When it is cast through a dial, the spell is symmetrically lodged in relation to it. So you could curve the spell then. Can't telefrag. Teleportation, utility, teleports the caster symmetrically relative to the target. Sets the spell cooldown, superior to zero, zero when telefrag. So, th uh, so this is similar to... Um, we'll talk about how uh, they got rid of the earth path. But this is kind of like Seller's Punch now. Where you have to target, you have to have a target to teleport. You can't just like teleport to a, a empty cell. Uh, dodge. This is a new spell. It teleports the cellar to the previous position. Oh, look at that! That makes it pretty straightforward. You don't have to deal with uh, dodge, dodge and lock mechanics. You just, you just uh, Goku out of there. Teleport. Time theft. Best element. I do like that. Uh, what this means is whatever uh, whatever element has the highest stat on your build, it, it's gonna take that. Um, it's gonna refer to that element. So if even if you have a hybrid build, say a uh, fire water build, if your fire status is higher than your water build, this is gonna be a fire spell. The target is then teleported to the first position. Can't tell if right. Seller's Fist, not Seller's Punch, but Seller's Fist, which is fire. Uh, inflicts fire damage and teleports a caster. Okay, so this is pretty much Seller's Punch. It might still be Seller's, it might be a mistranslation. Uh, seller's Dial, of course, this is a utility spell. Jet Lag, Water. Inflicts water damage and repels the target in the Telefrax spell, in, in the Telefrax state. Prismatic Variation. If this spell cast, if this spell is cast via the dial, pushes back the target even if not in the telefrag state, consumes jet. Okay. Slow down. Air. Oh, this is to be water. Removes AP from the target and inflicts air damage. Prismatic variation. I think this is one of the examples we saw up there. Cast through the dial, removes MP from the target and inflicts air damage. Super cool. Dude, like... I'm already thinking I need to make a, a, a tri-elemental cellar build just so I could do all these crazy shenanigans. I need, I need to make a, a power build for the cellar. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you? It's like, oh my god. Uh, rewind. Uh, teleports. Target. 
Okay, that's just regular rewind. It just it gives you telefry. Hand inflicts fire damage on the target. The damage is greater if the target is in telefry state. Prismatic variation. On an enemy, inflicts air damage to the inflicts air damage. The damage is greater if the target is in telephrag state. On an ally heals the target, the healing is greater if the target is in telephrag state. Super cool. To definitely make a fire uh, fire air build out of here using like the uh, the um, this, what's that? What's that really cool? Uh, super like heal set from uh, Plantala and um, and the Earth Pandala set. I forget the names. Mummification increases damage. AP and grants a reduction in damage, but applies a gravity state. And the mummify state is not like possible. It generates. Okay, yeah. So. Much or less, mummy works the same way. Except you kind of lock yourself out of teleportating. You, you're trading. You're trading more offense. You're you're trading uh, mobility for offense, pretty much. Temporal shake water inflicts water damage each time a telephrag state is generated. Okay. Prismatic variation. When it is cast through a dial, the spell's area effect becomes a one cell diagonal cross. Okay, okay. Clock. Clock goes through air. Inflicts air damage on and removes MP from enemies. Prismatic variation. When it is cast on a dial, the spell inflicts air damage and removes AP. From enemies in a ring of an aerial effect around the dial, the length of the the length of the AP and AP remover is greater on target. Okay, it's super cool. Just like mass debuff, pretty much. I just hoping that dial the dial could. Uh, I hope it is it doesn't become a crutch where like it just gets killed very easily or. Or you can't, you have trouble resummoning it. I really hope uh, it's much like the dial in uh, PC Dofus, where it's just like it's 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 accessible to you all the time. Uh, conservation fire heals the target ally each time a telefrag is generated. Prismatic variation when it is cast through a dial, the the spell's area effect becomes a one cross cell. Temporal prison. Ooh, I like that. I like the sound of that. When the target initiates or endures a move via spell, the target is teleported to his previous position. Yeah, it sounds like the seller's gonna be so annoying. He's just gonna be moving stuff around on it uh, intentionally and unintentionally. Pendulum. Water. Teleports the caster symmetrically in relation to the dial. Inflicts water damage and area effect around it. Destination cell, then teleports the target in this area symmetrically in relation to the caster. After these effects, the caster is teleported to the initial position. The spell must target the caster's out. This is, yeah, this sounds like a crazy, crazy, another crazy spell. Temporal dust. Oh, this went to uh, air. Inflicts air damage in a square and steals wisdom. Ooh, this is the first time we actually. This is the first time we see like wisdom being stolen from its targets. Prismatic variation when it is cast through a dial, the damage inflicted by spells on water element. Wisdom theft is also applied. This is this is interesting. I like that. Cephali, I don't know how you say that. Cephal, cephalogia, cephalogia. Increases the duration of effects on allies in a telephrag state by one turn. Reduces the duration of effects present on enemies in a telephrag state by one turn. Consumes the, tele consumes the telephrag state on all targets hit. On the next casting, the duration increases. 
This is interesting. This is a little, this is a little weird. Just reading it off. Of, uh, a little weird. I'm about to uh, look, look back into that, but it sounds crazy. Uh, rollback. Uh, pretty much the same thing. When the new sellers come out, spell points of players will be class reset. Okay, yeah, so you gotta reset your spells. We hope these churches will live up to your expectations. We'll hope in coming weeks. Uh, this. Uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I can't talk. I need some water. Give me one second. We hope these changes will live up to your expectations. And we'll see you in the upcoming weeks. Give this. Okay, yeah, this threw me off. Again, the party is Google Translate. We'll see you in the coming weeks. Give this a uh, a whirl in game. Super interesting. It, it looks like they just turned the seller and they just made it so dynamic, so so interesting. In the meantime, feel free to share your thoughts in the comment sections. Yeah, I'm excited for this. So I'm excited that it kind of leaned into the whole sp uh, spell slinging aspect of the class, the whole master of the elements aspect of the class. Like really, like um, like right off the bat, I want to make a multi-elemental build out of this. It sounds cool, and I can't wait to get my hands on. Of course, I'll, I'll do like a little walkthrough video for the for the seller once uh, open, open beta hits. But yeah, I'm excited. I am excited. This is so cool. They, they gave they gave the seller the complexity and the nuance the seller as a character needs. Right, I, I know in PC Dofus, it's a, it's a very complex class to play like a, competently. I don't, I don't I don't think they went as crazy here, but they gave it enough to give it a lot of versatility and just make it interesting, right? Even when you're mixing matching stuff, you're like you're you're getting like these secondary effects out of it, telefracts, prismatic variations. You're teleporting people over the place. You're teleporting yourself over the place, as the seller should be, right? Again, think of Doctor Strange, right? He's gonna be—he's a slippery wizard, slippery wizard. But this sounds super awesome. Right off the bat, first impressions were from what I read. I'm excited for the seller. I might even make a seller myself. One of my best friends did. I mean, her her class was a seller, and uh, fortunately, she she kind of. Stop playing just because she knew an update like this was coming. She's been waiting for for something like this, so I'm sure she's gonna be excited because she she was like a seller, like diehard. Like no matter what they did to the seller, like that was her class. So I'm not sure there's many people like that. But you guys could. I hope you. I wish you guys could see the big old smile I have on my face. But yeah, the seller's super cool. I think the seller's it's very the seller's the seller's is a very dofus class. Which um, which I love. Like it's very like when I think of Dofus, I definitely sellers like the like top the three things that pop into my head. So guys, let's wrap up this video. You see, we went on for thirty minutes. Not too bad. Not too bad. This was a long devlog, but it's a lot of news to cover here. Let me know your thoughts. Leave comments below. Leave comments on the forums. On your initial thoughts. They're listening, guys. They're, they're listening. You know, a lot of the stuff I talked about in my previous podcast, previous videos. And, you know, they are listening to the community, even though it may not seem like it. But, yeah, leave your comments. Leave your feedback. You love it. You hate it. Of course, we just got a wall of text. You know, we got we to gotta know how this character actually feels, right? Uh, for people, right? It's going to be over... over is this stuff gonna be overwhelming, right? It's 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 interesting, but it's gonna be overwhelming. Or is it gonna be, you know, once you're in game, it's gonna be easy to grasp. I do hope, you know, Telefrac does get it like a visual cue. So you know right off the bat who's Telefrac and who isn't. Because there's gonna be a lot of things happening on the field and it it sucks when you have to go into like their little character window and check their states. All right, is this person telefrag or not? No, just just give us a visual cue. That's I that's my biggest feedback out of my initial impressions. Just give us a visual cue, similar to the, you know, just put like a little effect on top of the character, so I know who's telefrag, who isn't. 
because it, it looks like, you know, it's it's going to be an integral part of the cellar, right? To proccing those secondary effects. But so far, A+. Plus. I'm ex Again, I'm excited. It sounds super fun and I can't wait to try the cellar myself on the beta. But folks, until next time, this has been Challenger EX. Take care of yourself and peace.